In this video we're going to take a look at the layout of a QuickQ Designer software which is also exactly the same as a QuickQ console. On the console this area here would represent your touchscreen area and the console is very much based around the touchscreen for programming. Along the top of the touchscreen you've got your menu key on the right hand side here, your action menu, the record button, the home button in the middle, a clear and a back key. We'll just quickly look at some of these functions. The home key will always take you out back to this layout view. On this layout view you can select fixtures on here and you can see what they're doing. So I could select two spots, switch them on, I could then choose an attribute, position, colour or beam, like so, change the colour of the lights. If I go back to home, it takes me to this layout screen where you can now see those fixtures, you can see the colour of them and you can see the fixture intensity. We'll get on to look at laying the fixtures out in the grid and patching in some of our later videos. But at the bottom of your screen, you have a legend for your playbacks. QuickQ10 has two chase playbacks and one Q stack, whereas QuickQ20 and 30 have 10 multifunction playbacks that can each be Q stacks, chases, or single queues. On the right hand side, you then have your Grandmaster Fader indicator showing you the level of your Grandmaster Fader or flashing if it's at zero. You then would have on the QuickQ console the physical faders, as we've got on screen here, and below the faders, a flash button as well. On the left side of the console, you have these multifunction faders. These faders have three modes of operation. You can change the fixture fader modes using the buttons here on the touch screen, and you also have physical keys on the QuickQ console. The options are fixture mode, group mode, or queue mode. If I clear my programmer, I first off go into fixture mode. In fixture mode, you have your first 20 fixtures or head numbers 1 to 20 on these faders, so you can have the traditional fader per light style control for programming. Go into group mode, you can now have groups of lights on fixtures. You can custom record up to 20 different groups on these faders, all of your spots, all of your washes, and so on. The third operation mode is single static queue mode, where you can store looks or cues to these faders. For example, I could grab my four spots, switch them on, put them in a colour, and then record them onto one of these faders here. The faders below them also have a flash button, like so, or a select key. And depending on your fixture fader mode, toggling back to fixture mode and the settings, they have an illuminated LED above, which also gives you indicators for things like the fixture's colour, like shown here. So that's a quick overview of the QuickQ interface and the console layout. Check out some of our other videos where we start looking at how you can program on the console.